Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I wanted to talk about the differences between the Lenovo USI Pen and the uh, HP USI Pen. I will talk about the hardware differences and I will showcase it on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, how the writing experience in both of these uh, pens are. So hope you will enjoy it and uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's first talk about hardware. I wanted to start with HP and I will compare it to the Lenovo one step by step. First, the price. This costs two times more than the Lenovo one, the HP one. It's like 80 euro in Germany compared to the Lenovo one, which is around 40 euro. The prices can change depending where you live. So this is expensive, but it feels cheaper when you hold it in your hand because the material feels cheaper. And when I hold the Lenovo one, it's a little bit heavier. So this heaviness also can make it like feel a bit more premium. So this is more expensive, but feels cheaper than the material. You can charge it using the USB-C here. And you have a battery indicator here around the tip here on the top here so it will glow red when it's charging it will be white when it's fully charged and it will start to blink red when it is low in the battery which is a good thing because you can see at least when it has battery or not in the Lenovo one the Lenovo one you can change the batteries so this will last longer in the battery definitely compared to the HP one but the main problem is here that you don't have an indicator. And that's also the, the Chromebook that I use, the Chromebook Duet, doesn't show any battery indication, so you have no idea when it will be empty. The diameter of this pen is uh, thinner when you hold it in your hand, but it has this flat surface here, which is a magnet, which actually attaches really good to your tablet. So if you want to carry it around, it's more safer to use this, definitely. And, but the diameter is a little bit smaller, so it feels a little bit better. In here, it's a little bit thicker than the diameter of the pen, so it feels a little bit chunky in the hand. And the main important difference here, for, in my opinion, is the tip here. The tip is here is really thin. It's, I think, less than two millimeters, as I know, it's like one point something. And here you can see how round is the tip. You can see the difference and you feel the difference when you start to write. The HP one also comes in the box with two additional tips, in which the Lenovo one doesn't have. And I don't know what happens if you break this tip because I couldn't find any uh, like replacement tips for the Lenovo USI pen. So that's it actually for the hardware differences. Now we can start to talk about the software. So now I will start with the HP USI pen here. I use the Squid app. I turned off also the pressure sensitivity right now. So let's see how it feels. It feels really good. The pen tip is thinner, so that gives a better experience. I will now try it with the Lenovo USI pen. It feels also good, but it's round, so you don't feel like uh, where you are trying to write. It's, it's similar like to pencil. If you sharpen it or not sharpen it, you will feel a bit different when you write it and you get the same feeling here. And one thing that I realized here, if you look at the dots here, like the points here, when you write, when you use the HP one, this was the HP one, and this was the Lenovo one, you can see that the dots are more looking like a real dot and circular. And in the Lenovo one, because the tip is a little bit round here, it also causes that the dots are more looking like a line. I will try to showcase that again. I'm trying to write also a little bit fast so that you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Now I can zoom in here 
And you can see that in the Lenovo one here, clearly you are more line shaped than what we had from the HP one. So if you want to get a better writing experience, the HP one delivers better writing experience, definitely compared to the Lenovo USI. I will now showcase it on the OneNote app. I will try to write something. And you guys can clearly see that there's a delay, but from the but that depends on the Chromebook to it and the OneNote app. This has nothing to do with the pen. Now I will try to write it with the Lenovo USI pen. Here, it feels a little bit like the tip. You don't feel it properly. It's like a pencil, as I said like if it's sharpened or not you feel that here and again you feel that dots here like when you write with the lenovo one they don't look like a dot especially when you write it fast of course if i don't write fast i can also make that but when you're trying to write a little bit faster then you will have this problem usually sometimes with the lenovo usi pen this barely happens with the hp one which I can showcase now here. I'm trying to write also something that requires that here. Now I can use a Lenovo one to, that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now if I zoom here, you clearly can see like differences here compared to the HP one. In general, if you want to use these pens for painting and also the Chromebook Duet for painting, like a professional painting, you will have problem. They don't deliver the experience that you are, you will get from, let's say, Apple iPad pencil, like Apple iPad and the Apple pencil or the Samsung uh, uh, Galaxy tabs. They deliver better right like a drawing experience and also the microsoft surface lineup deliver better drawing experience compared to these pens and this tablet but for the small like sketches if you want to do they work properly there especially with the canvas app that i have here there's no differences actually between these two pens they both feel really smooth here in the autodesk sketchbook i can now show it also as i said for small drawing you can definitely use these post pens they work properly but don't expect like to be like to do like really professional drawing that most probably you will get better experience using the different devices different tablets and different pens kind of but they work here both same good actually for drawing they i didn't notice that much difference between any of these the pressure sensitivity, everything works similar. I will also shortly showcase the pressure sensitivity in the screen app. I will turn it on here that you guys can see it. Now I'm trying to like, without no pressure, draw, write something or draw something. Let's say you can clearly see the differences. This works properly. Let's switch to the Lenovo one. This works also nice. In these cases, you will not feel that much difference between these two pens. In, in general. this part of the video, I want to also try to see how is the effect of this uh, the screen protector that I have here on the writing experience. So we can also try that out. I also wanted to change the screen protector. So now it's the best time to do that. So now I will try to remove the screen protector and then we can try it one so more. So now I remove the screen protector. So now I will try to write to see if it feels different when you don't have a screen protector on. It feels a little bit like the touch feeling of the pen. It feels better, I would say. But as a writing difference, I don't see any difference here. So... It's just the surface difference, different like frictions, that makes it a bit different. 
but in general the writing experience is same here. This both I ever say the screen protector just gives it a bit different feeling between the pen's tip and the device. But as a writing, how it looks like eventually it doesn't have that much effect. As I also said, the HP1 has a magnet in this flat surface here, so you can also attach it here and it's really like sturdy, so it doesn't move actually. It's a really strong magnet, I would say. It's time for conclusion. For writing experience, the HP1 delivers better writing just because of the pen tip. So if in future Lenovo release new pen tips, which are like uh, sharper than this one, I don't think that you will get different experience here. This feels a little bit heavier and that makes it a little bit feeling more premium when you hold it in your hand. This feels cheaper when you hold it in your hand, although it's two times more expensive. I don't think that it's worth 80 euro, maybe for 50 or 60 euro, that could be more reasonable. I don't like this flat surface here when I'm writing it with it. I don't, sometimes it bothers my, the finger. So I prefer that this didn't exist because the magnet part I will barely use. So, but for the feeling when you hold it in your hand, it would be better if I didn't have this flat surface. I like it that it comes with two pen tips. This is also downside from the Lenovo one because you don't have a replacement. I like it that you can show, it shows the if the battery is low, that's also an advantage here. But what are missing for me is the material, the feeling in my hand, it doesn't worth 80 euro. And it doesn't have the buttons. I like the buttons that I have in the surface pen I have. And they are, I can use one of them as an eraser, which is really useful. So what I will do, most probably I will return this HP1 because I'm not writing too much. And in my opinion, 80 euro, this pen doesn't worth 80 euro. It feels like the HP is trying to yeah, rip you off with the, this pricing, I would say. And I will keep the Lenovo one. But I will do also one more video, so stay tuned. I will compare these pens also with the Surface pen. I will use them on the OneNote app and show it how the quality of the writing is because I noticed also that there is a difference between these two pens and also between the Surface pen as the quality of your handwriting also changes. So stay tuned and see you guys in the next one.